Hi there, welcome back to Dominion with Dean and today we're going to have a look at um, geotagging and, and how we would display our assets on a map um, in Dominion. So um, what I'm going to do is just run through three of these um, locations that I took on a road trip last year. Um, through, I'm going to run through them with you and just show you how I would go about pinning them on the map using my map window within Dominion. Now the map window is pretty easy to find. Um, I've hidden it here and I just want to show you over here I've got it floating as a, as a window and usually when you install Dominion you'll find it docked to the bottom of your interface over there. So um, this is a map panel as you can see at the top there there's a search box that you can use to find locations with. Um, you can switch to your favorite map provider from the drop down list over there and you can also switch between the standard three views that most of these map providers um, um, give you which is the map view uh, which contains only a map like you see here your satellite view which contains satellite imagery and then a hybrid which combines the two okay so i'm going to look at the area that um, that i visited which is um, in the small town of Howick in kwazulu natal in south africa um, i'm going to zoom in on the area there and we're going to start with our images of the Howick Falls, which is a waterfall located in the river here. And as you can see, um, let me just switch over to satellite view and you'll get a very clear idea of where um, the actual waterfall is, which is over there. Now, when I visited the falls, I, I took a walking trail which leads all the way down into the valley down here. But for the sake of um, putting my location on the map, I'm just going to um, allocate all of these images to one specific location. Right, so what I'm going to do is load my images, which is over here. I'm just going to scan through them quickly and there you can see there's me and the guide going all the way down through the forest right until we get to the bottom of the falls over there. So I'm going to select all my images, just get my map window up again, and then I'm going to take them, drag them, and drop them onto the location right over there. And as you can see, Dominion gives you a quick thumbnail preview of one of the files that's listed at that location. You also have a context menu which you can use to um, remove or, or, or manage anything on the map. So, so you can use that, for example, if I want to remove these, I can just click on delete, or if I want to relocate them to another place, it's a simple matter of just dragging and dropping them. So once we've um, dropped images on the map, um, and let's examine the, the image section by selecting the image and then scrolling down in the properties panel. Then you can see it indicates here um, that it's added latitude and longitude. So we, we're working here on 29 degrees, 29 minutes and 12.98 seconds south and east 30 degrees, 14 minutes, 18.50 minutes. Right, so let's move on to um, the next one here, which is um, a picnic area at the Midmar Lake, which is um, also in the same vicinity. So um, as you can see, I've got two locations that I took at the same, uh, you know, in the same general vicinity. So I just want to make sure on my map that I distinguish between the two. And it's, uh, it's quite handy how you can zoom in in detail and actually refresh your memory. Um, like for me, this was taken last year, so it's not so fresh in my memory. And I can actually examine the area. Now, when I, I knew when I got there, I used this road to get in. And then I drove along the side of the dam and I visited the picnic areas, which were, which were along this area over here. It was actually around there. So I can use my map tool, zoom in. Actually, my bad. There we go, right over there. That's where it was. And we can just switch over again to the satellite view and get right in there. And there you can see that's the road. Unfortunately, it's covered by clouds. So let's just see one of the other map providers, see if we can get a clearer image. 
just to jog memory. There we go. Yes, definitely there. So I'm going to pin my images of the picnic area over there in and amongst the trees. There we go. Select all, drag and drop. Very good. So let me just have a quick look at these images of the roads. Now, as you can see, again, these were taken at various um, different locations on this road that, um, that skirts the dam. And again, here we are closer to the picnic areas. But for the sake of this tutorial, I'm not going to be as specific, especially since it was quite some time ago, as actually going through each individual image and try to pinpoint it exactly on where it was. I mean, if you need that kind of an accuracy, then um, you know a GPS unit on the camera or, or an app on your mobile phone would do the trick. Um, quite nicely, but um, for our purposes, let me just see where the road led me. I believe it was this stretch of road over there. Very good. Select all images and again just drag and drop them onto the map. Right, so now if I zoom out, you can see how the images that I've dropped onto the map are indicated within Dominion and I can for example if I've got my entire catalog open I could take this and use it as a search tool for example if I want to see only those images I can click there and it loads it for me as a search result or I can move to the next lot over there or we can go back to the waterfalls over there Great. So again, just to just to recap what we've gone through, um, it's a simple matter of dragging and dropping images onto the map. You'll see that as I zoom out, Dominion will start grouping items on the map together for me. And then as I zoom in again, and the coordinates and the scale of the map gets larger, it'll it'll spread them out. To examine the the properties. Go on over to the images group and then you'll see all the geo information coordinates listed over there. If you um, have got a GPS unit and it records altitude um, into, into your image, then you will also be able to retrieve that um, from this panel over here. But unfortunately, I'm just entering them manually. Great, so that's the, the map panel in a nutshell. Thanks for watching.